Hello, in this video I'm going to go through the axioms of consumer preference. So let's first talk about a bundle, what a bundle is. A bundle consists of a market basket of goods. For example, bundle A might contain two pounds of rice and three bags of apples. Now let's begin with our axioms of consumer preference. The first axiom is completeness. Preferences are complete. When presented with two bundles of goods, A and B, a consumer must state one of the following. Bundle A is preferred to bundle B, bundle B is preferred to bundle A, or A is indifferent to bundle B. That is, A and B are equally attractive. This axiom states that a consumer can compare bundles and rank them. The second axiom, reflexive. A consumer presented with identical bundles must rank them the same, meaning the consumer is indifferent between identical bundles. The third axiom, transitive. Suppose a consumer prefers bundle A to bundle B and prefers bundle B to bundle C. The transitive preference means the consumer prefers bundle A to bundle C. So if A is greater than B and B is greater than C, it must be true that A is greater than C. This rules out indifference curves that cross. Continuity. If a bundle A is preferred to bundle B and bundle C is very close to bundle B, the consumer will prefer A to C. It's easier mathematically to examine small changes in income and prices without discontinuous jumps in preferences. That is, utility preferences can be differentiated. These four axioms allow us to construct a utility index that assigns numbers to consumption bundles. That is a utility function. So completeness implies any point on a real number line has a specific value. Reflexive, the same point on a real number line has the same value. Transitive, if x is greater than y and y is greater than z, then x must be greater than z. And finally, continuity, suppose x is greater than y on a real number line. There's a number between x and y, say y prime, where x is greater than y prime. And two additional assumptions, non-satiation, more is better. So bundle A has the same amount of one good, but a little bit more of the other. So A is going to be preferred to B. Another example. Bundle A has the same amount of one good, two and two, but it has a little bit more of another. So A is going to be preferred to B. And here, bundle A has more of both goods, so bundle A will be preferred to bundle B. This is going to rule out circular indifference curves. Diminishing marginal rates of substitution states that balanced bundles are preferred to unbalanced bundles. So for example, bundle A has 15 units of one good, two of the other. Bundle B has five units of one good and 18 of the other. So diminishing marginal rates of substitution will state that the consumer would prefer bundle C that has an average of those two bundles. So an average of the two bundles will be preferred to either of the extremes. This is basically telling us that indifference curves are convex. In other words, a line between two points and an indifference curve will lie above the indifference curve. All right, I will stop here.